is it okay to be okay? Is it okay to wake up and not want to get out of bed? Is it okay to sit there and is it okay to sometimes not want to go to work? Sometimes not wanting to check your phone? Sometimes not even having the strength to do anything? To lay in bed and ponder? Ponder emptiness? Ponder this feeling inside of you that says it's okay to lay here, it's warm here, it's safe here, and it's comforting. Hey guys, as requested, you wanted to hear a video about a more serious topic. So today I've chosen what has been requested below in the comments from a few of you, the question of is it okay to be okay? Is it good enough to be okay? Now if you're watching this video, you're, you yourself might be struggling from maybe some days you feel very depressed, maybe some days you have anxiety. Every one of you watching this right now, you're all unique in a different way. And that uniqueness is that some flaws that you have actually are strengths and some flaws that other people in society see aren't exactly flaws. Now before we dive into is it okay to be okay, let's talk about some stigma around the ideas of depression, anxiety and just overall stress. Even now and very much in the olden days, whenever someone was having a down day or a sad day or a period of time or an episode which was last more than a few hours of anxiety the response was always the same and that response was get over it it's just a sad day stop feeling so down on yourself why do you feel that way you're making me depressed by you being depressed. Depression is not something that is temporary. Depression is and has always been, to me personally, a scar which constantly stays on you. Now some days, like with a scar when you have a hot shower, that scar will burn. Just to remind you that it's still there. I've always seen depression and anxiety as something that is always kind of there in the background. As I'm recording this video, it will be over there in the background. When I turn off this camera, it will be there. When I don't go out and spend a day in bed, it, it will be there. It is and can be seen as a constant companion that always tends to linger at your worst times. I'm speaking from personal experience because sometimes it can be hard to relate to some people that don't have mental illness, some people that don't have depression. Because in the world today, we're always so busy trying to make money, trying to focus on things, trying to progress forwards, but a lot of the time, we are surrounded by sounds, noises, social media, magazines, things constantly aimed at us to be like this person, be like a celebrity, get the best stomach, get the best body, achieve this much by a certain age, make this much money. In a world that is constantly full of noise and stress and anger, we don't have the opportunity to just stop to just stop all the noise, all the constant likes, all the constant external validation that we so crave because in ourselves we don't find the inner love. We don't find a part of us which can say everything's okay today. That is why I was addressed with the question, is it okay to be okay? Now okay can be different. 
for anyone. Okay can be some of those days when you do get out of bed and have a shower, or some days when you reach out to someone and help them, or just doing something you love. Every day you crawl out of bed, or every day you do something, even putting on socks, even the smallest of things, it's taking a step in the right direction. And I know this because I've had it myself and I've had people tell me similar things. That one day when they didn't listen to the thing in the background that told them the worst things, they felt okay. So the best thing I can say is keep doing you, keep being yourself. Sometimes turn off those mobile devices that just throw things at us and just try to tell us how we should be. It's okay to have days when you want to lay in bed. It is okay. Because sometimes your head needs some self-care. You need some self-care. The worst thing you can do is listen to people that tell you how you should be. How you should feel. How you shouldn't feel. And people sometimes look at depression as an excuse. Depression is not an excuse. That is like telling someone with a broken arm to move their arm. That is like telling someone to pick up a pad. It is very much constant. It is very much there. I don't know how to heal depression fully. I don't know how to escape depression. And you might not know how to escape it either. Because for some of us, it is, as I said earlier, a constant companion. But in doing you and in taking some days to just reflect on yourself and how you feel, maybe binge a show you like, it's okay to be just okay. A lot of times we're shown Instagram stories. I'm using Instagram because Instagram and Twitter, Facebook not so much, but these two platforms are constantly throwing stuff in our face. Constantly we're reading feeds about people that are living happy lives. People that are achieving, people that are doing fantastic things. People that are always smiling. Like it is, it is some path that we're trying to find and because we have so much depression and we look past just being okay, we become even more depressed because we see past okay, there is something better, something greater that is completely always plugged into our eyes and to our nose we've we've always got constant sensations of having always something better than a situation that we're in so i say to you those pictures those social media it's very much a fantasy it is very much something that is isn't unreachable but being okay can have a sense of happiness a sense of being okay, maybe okay can be the new, the new happy. Just being or having a few minutes a day, maybe an hour of just feeling okay. Okay can be comfortable maybe in your own body or having less anxiety or less depression or maybe having your favorite beer or TV show or chocolate bar or connecting with an old friend and having that one brief smile. That's okay. So, when I look and I hear the word, is it okay to be okay? Yes, it's more than okay to be okay. It is peace. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the more serious subject that I presented to you. Um, for anyone that is having any thoughts of self-doubt or anyone that is feeling extremely down in the dumps, I've also included some links for suicide prevention and also some links with tips and tricks and maybe some things that you can try out yourself at home. If you did enjoy this video and you more, want more videos that are like this and directed towards you with social subjects, Please, as always, comment below. It's fantastic to read your responses and I really enjoyed being open with you in this video. See you again soon. Bye.